guys, I'm Rich Neil Wynn. Today we're unboxing the Dell XPS 13. So, um, I'm kind of excited about this because I mean like, so much new silicon, you know? I mean, you want to just talk for like 15 minutes about new silicon? Because I can, and I'll probably talk for a good portion of it about that. Uh, there's not much different that's in the new XPS 13 from the last one. In fact, uh, Dell told me they didn't have a lot of review units, and <laughs> um, they told me that they ordered them for the few enthusiasts that that actually just care about the new silicon. So, like, like I said, there's a lot of new silicon going around these days. There's, you know, um, Qualcomm has the new Snapdragon 8CX, which um, the regular 8CX is delayed, or the 8CX isn't delayed. The one product been announced with it has been delayed. That's a Samsung Galaxy Book uh, S. And then, of course, there's the Microsoft SQ1, which is a version of the 8CX, um, and that's in the Surface Pro X. So that's on the ARM side of things, there's new silicon. Now, on the Intel side of things, there's, there's new stuff too, and Dell is at the forefront of that. Um, right here, I have the XPS 13 2-in-1, which I reviewed already. That's got Ice Lake. Now, Intel's 10th generation lineup is confusing. No doubt about that. So... <laughs> This guy has a Core i7-1065G7, and the G number is the Iris Plus graphics. So, um, Ice Lake is 10 nanometer, but the other part of the 10th gen lineup is Comet Lake. Comet Lake is still 14 nanometers. It still has uh, UHD graphics. There's no Iris Plus, and they also use the old naming scheme, so it still has a U at the end. And this guy right here has a Core i7, let me get make sure I get this right, 10710U. Um, there's other versions as well. There's a Core i7-10510U, there's a Core i5-10210U, and then the Core i3-10110U. So the 10 is obviously 10th gen, like we had an 8. Now it's five digits and it kind of makes sense. You know, it's four digits if it's Ice Lake. It's it's just a mess. And from what I understand, the reason that Comet Lake exists is just kind of that shortage on 10 nanometer, which was delayed for so long. So what's cool about the Core i7-10710U? It is actually the first Hexacore U-series processor. So U-series is the 15-watt lineup. You'll find it in standard Ultrabooks, uh, convertibles. Um, the... XPS 13 2 in 1 here, even though it's Ice Lake, and even though the name doesn't have a U, it is considered to be U series, it's 15 watts. This used to be Y series, so there was a big performance jump there. The XPS 13 clamshell, however, has always been U series, so it's always been more powerful than the convertible, actually by a lot. And in fact, if you take away the fact that it's more powerful, I'm not even sure why this exists. So I've not tried Comet Lake yet, this is my first Comet Lake. Uh, PC and that's another reason why I get excited just about new silicon like there's a new generation from Intel or whatever um, I'm kind of excited about it because the the fact is like I, I review a lot of laptops so when when, when something new comes like, like there's gonna come a point like six months from now where I've already reviewed you know 10 Comet Lake laptops and like Seven of them have the same the same RAM and storage as the one that, that I'll be unboxing. So um, just the fact that there's so much new stuff coming now is really exciting. So let's just get this all out of the box, okay? That's just going to have the laptop in this box. It's a thing about Dell's packaging is that they have the big box, and there's a little box inside, which is not uncommon. But Dell's the only one that I see that has such a little box that there's just the PC in there. We'll still find the charger in this separate one. So here we go. We have a power cable. We have a USB Type-C to USB Type-A adapter. And then we're going to find our power brick in here, which I assume is going to be 65 watts. But we're going to double check on that. No, this is 45 watts actually, which is uh, interesting. It's it's kind of uh, low power. You, you might you'll probably get faster charging if you use the six, uh, 65 watt charger, but um, we'll just leave that in there. I like to leave chargers in the box, and it makes it easier for when I send these things back because I do have plenty of USB Type C chargers. All right, so 
you can see. All right, so there is nothing else in this box except for some paperwork. So there it is. This is the Dell XPS 13 with the Hexacore processor. So this actually, this machine itself actually came out back in, I want to say August, maybe September. Um, because remember, they, 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 Intel announced Comet Lake after it announced Ice Lake. It was really weird because um, a lot of us were briefed on Comet Lake products, which I believe was, came out at IFA. And... Um, we were briefed on Comet Lake products, and then Intel briefed us on Ice Lake and didn't say anything about Comet Lake, which which put us as journalists in, in just a weird position. So this actually weighs in at 2.7 pounds. I, I, the thing is, to me, to me, it feels heavier than the XPS 13 2-in-1. It's actually not. This is 2.7 pounds. This is 2.9 pounds. Now, I've... It's funny because I didn't even think of this until I picked this up. I've, I've noted this in, I think, my previous XPS 13 review, which was that it feels heavier than it is. And that has something to do with the way that the weight is balanced. And, um, yeah, it's just it's just really strange. The body size should be about the same between the two. They both have tiny bezels. Okay, so you can see that. This one, um, different color they sent me this time around. This is the, the standard... Um, Look, the, the outside is a, is roughly the same color. You can't even tell the difference. Or not roughly, it is the same color. So it's like that grayish. And then the inside we have that carbon fiber weave black. This is as far as the hinge will go, by the way. And um, last time they sent me an XPS 13, it was the white carbon fiber weave. This is smooth. That one was more textured. Okay, so I mean, it's the XPS 13. It's, it's something that we've seen before battery indicator on the side. So we can start with the keyboard here. Um, this is the standard keyboard. And if you watch my previous XPS 13 video, it, this is all the same. The only difference with this model is the um, difference in the CPU with that hexacore chipset. And so, like I said, standard, standard chiclet style keyboard that we've seen in previous models. And the reason that I bring that up is because the XPS 13 two-in-one does not have that. That has a maglev keyboard. And um, this is the one that we're used to. Now the display is 4K. This is the this is the, the big one. This is uh, 4K Infinity Edge. You can see tiny bezels on this thing. Okay, which is is beautiful, and it still has a webcam on top up there. And that's something that that Dell did not have for a while. For a while, uh, the webcam was below the screen, and it was a big joke from other OEMs. It was it was. <laughs> You know, like HP used to call it the nostril cam. And it was bad. It was bad. And and I used to ask Dell about that. And they, they would just say, well, how often do you use your webcam? And I'd say never. And they say, well, there you go. And obviously their business PCs always still had it on top. So that's something that they fixed. And, and like, like now they get to make fun of themselves when we talk about that, which is, um, that's cool. I mean, it, it's in the right place now, which is fine. We can also take a look at the ports that we have on here. Over here, we have two Thunderbolt 3 ports. Like I said, there's a battery indicator, which this is just one of the cool features. Um, it just tells you how much battery life you have, and it lights up LEDs according to how much. Uh, I've never found it to be useful or practical in the real world, but I just think it's cool uh, to have uh, USB 3.1 Gen 1 over here and micro SD. So uh, what you won't find on this PC, of course, is uh, USB Type A. There is a headphone jack, as you can see over there. I mentioned the Surface Pro X earlier, that which does not have a headphone jack. So just keep that in mind. Um, like, but yeah, no, no USB Type A. It does come with an adapter, which uh, you know I'm, I'm always of the opinion that if you have to have an adapter, then you probably should have just built it into the product. But uh, you know, I'll, I'll, personally, I'll be okay with USB Type-A, and I think a lot of people will. So, you notice the flap is gone. That, that's something that, that they removed with the last generation. You used to be able to pull up a little flap here, and you'd be able to see the service tag, the serial number, and all that good stuff. So, that's gone now. And, um, yeah, so it's just like it's a, a single piece of aluminum, and then you have the, uh, the carbon fiber you know, internals and the standard chiclet style keyboard, which has, it does have a deeper key press than the XPS 13 2-in-1 maglev. Although the, 
the maglev is much better with this generation than the first gen was. So yeah, um, we can take a look at the, um, you know, the chip that's inside of it, which this should be, I believe, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 storage. Let's just check the storage before we go to the about page and we will find, yeah, 512. Uh, 512 SSD, if we go to about, yeah, Core i7-10710U, and, and this is the first Hexacore U-series CPU. So one of the reasons that I'm most interested in Comet Lake is just kind of, um, I want to see where it sits in, you know, the world, in the grand scheme of things. It's just, it's a product that doesn't make sense to me. You know, um, both Ice Lake and Comet Lake come in U-Series and Y-Series. Y-Series is like ultra-low power. It's built for fanless machines. That's what used to be in the XPS 13 2-in-1. It really wasn't a good product. But, you know, by the way, that's much improved now, too. So, like, like I don't understand. Like, I would have expected maybe they did 10 nanometer for Y-Series and then 14 for U. Or maybe, you know, I, I don't know. But it's, uh, some companies are putting it in their premium products, um, either one in their premium product. Like, for instance, historically, the XPS 13 clamshell has always been more, much more powerful than the 13 2-in-1. But um, now it's the clamshell that has Comet Lake and the 2-in-1 that has the 10 nanometer Ice Lake, which has Iris Plus graphics as well. Ice Lake, from what I've seen in my review of that machine that I used, just had on this table, is no joke. Like, this, this is a good chip. And it has good graphics power with Iris Plus. That G number, G7, is the top Iris Plus strength. You know, the, the i5 actually has a G1, G4, and G5. And G4 and G7 are Iris Plus. G7 is the best Iris Plus. You know, so, but like I was saying, they, they put the, the this in the clamshell. So if Ice Lake is superior, then it's a, it's a change for Dell. But on the other hand... Um, Lenovo, right? They announced a new Yoga uh, C940, and that has Ice Lake in it. Then they announced a 740 Comet Lake. So the high end for them had Ice Lake. On the other hand, the X1 Carbon and the X, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon and the ThinkPad X1 Extreme are going with Comet Lake. It's just like it's it's like it's just throwing it against the wall about which one companies want to use in their products, and it doesn't really makes sense so so i'm really excited to see what this can do which one is just better you know this is supposed to be better for productivity ice lake is supposed to be better for graphics type of stuff and and obviously i want to see put this through its paces because we don't get a chance to try new stuff much you know as as a pc reviewer you know i've been, I've, I've been reviewing whiskey lake laptops forever and it's it's like at a certain point you get one after the other after the other there's there's nothing to discover in terms of performance anymore so now with all this cool new stuff that's coming out uh two new chips from qualcomm the 8cx and the and the sq1 uh, which the sq1 is very much a qualcomm chip before anybody tries to correct me um you know uh two new lineups from intel I, and i also can't wait to get my hands on the y series ones although i don't think anybody's actually has products with that so, um, yeah, and new stuff from AMD, too. So there's, like, a lot of cool stuff on the way. And if you're into performance in mobile mobile laptops, like, this is a good time to be checking stuff out. So, you know, I, I didn't do a deeper dive on the laptop itself because we've done this before. So, um, yeah, it's, it's I'm, I, I'm excited to start doing benchmarks on this, like, right now. So stay tuned. Um, I'll have a review on this in a couple weeks. There's not much to do. I, you know, I just want to test out doing stuff and, and kind of comparing it to that XPS 13 2-in-1. And, um, you know, other than that, like the actual form factor and what it feels like to use, like, I've done all that. Like, I, I reviewed this machine, except for that CPU that's in there. And I, I, I'm excited to get a closer look at that. So, anyway, stay tuned for that. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a good day.